Kobe has just passed a canine hip dysplasia screening. That means she had a general anaesthetic, had x-rays taken of a sensual specialist, and she has really good hips. She can go running through the forest or swimming in the lakes with her owner. She's gonna have a really pain-free life. Come on, Cobes, let's go for a run. Jordan has canine hip dysplasia. That means her hip, a ball and socket joint, don't fit properly, already showing signs of arthritis. She faces a life of very restricted exercise, anti-arthritic drugs and painkillers the rest of life. On cold nights, it can be very, very painful and she may even have to have surgery. Why is it that one dog can get hip dysplasia and another dog is clear? Genetics. It's all in their DNA makeup and right now, it's a bit of a lottery. Dogs have assisted humans for hundreds of years, but if a pup is selected for training as a service dog and later shows signs of hip dysplasia, all the breeding, rearing and training must begin again. Our research intends to develop a method of selecting dogs with 90% confidence of not having genetically inherited hip dysplasia. So this research will spill over into breeding programs so in the future, dogs like Jordan will be born with good hips and lead pain-free, happy lives. We need your help, however, to get this research done. So please visit our website and give what you can towards this research project.